I'm back. So once again, I'm going to be using the Eclipse highlighter from the Anastasia highlighting kit. This color here. All right. You're going to be in love like me. I just want you to know. Oh, and what I did um, off camera, I used the uh, mineralized water all over my face from MAC. Love this stuff. You can either spritz your face or spritz your brush with your mineralized um water so that your product can just adhere to your face mm -hmm. oh that's fire <laughs> that's fire y'all I think I want to take that same color. I'm going to put that on my cupid's bow. Mm -hmm. Yes, girl. Yes, girl. <laughs> love this stuff this product is excellent and I still have to put my lashes on and I love this brand here forgive me I don't know the name of this brand um, they were ordered off of eBay and they come like this and the price change and I believe I got like this one pack here for like 93 cents or something. And I take these off and I wear the same pair for weeks. Of course, I clean them, but I don't have to discard them by any means necessary because they are one of my very favorite pair of lashes that I like to wear, okay? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes. Now, what I like to do with my lashes, I like to use the, um, the duo glue, lash glue. Okay. Duo. And I use tweezers to put my lashes on. I have not gotten so good that I can do them without using tweezers. Okay, so we're going to go. And I don't have to cut these. These are perfect for the shape and the length of my eye. Absolutely perfect. I mean perfect. The only thing that I'll have to do is cut the little clear ends off. That You, you can see them, the little clear ends. I don't want to stick my eye. I don't need that. So I'll just take a razor and cut that off. Yep, and we're going to go ahead and apply them. I never really apply my lashes online because I feel awkward doing that. But we're all family here. We all understand, right? <laughs> we all know that you can't put lashes on without having your mouth open. <laughs> and I am going to use just a little bit of this glue. You don't need a lot. Even though the uh, the lashes did have some type of adhesive on it, which is really good, but I don't necessarily just use that. And once again, I do already have on mascara. I like to do mascara first and then do my, my uh, falsies. So here we go. 
and I place it right underneath uh oh and this was the part I was afraid of it coming off I told you it takes me a while but we're gonna proceed and go on so if you can see I'm putting that right underneath uh, right on top, shall I say, of my natural lash. And I like it, I like to bring it to the very corner of my eye. You don't need a lot of glue either. Mm, mm, mm. I love these lashes. Do you hear me? I mean, I love them. Perfect. That is perfect. I love lashes. I love lashes. I didn't used to wear them like I do now. And when I first started, I used to wear individual lashes. Let me show you, okay? Individuals. You think this took me a minute. It really didn't. But this used to take forever. Individual lashes. Yeah. I don't rock those anymore. But I still could if I wanted to really have them full. Or just get a different brand. You know, those mink lashes are really nice from what I hear. I haven't had an opportunity to try them yet. A lot of people love the mink lashes. I haven't experienced it yet, but I will one day. Right now, I'm stuck on these. I mean, I'm stuck on these. I take them off, I wash them, and I reuse them. So one pair actually lasts me a long time, like a long time, at least two weeks. And to me, that's a long time. So, we're going to go ahead and put some more duo glue on here. We don't need a lot. Remember, this uh, lash already had some type of adhesive on it. I don't want to just use that and then you know, go on about my day and it doesn't adhere to the eye all day. So I like to use a little duo glue. Kind of wave it, blow it, dry a little bit. And once again, same method, okay guys? Right underneath that lid, right on top of your natural lash line. And I like to go into the very corner of my eye. Get them as close to my natural lash, lash line as possible, okay? Love it, love it, love it. I love it. Once again, I'm sorry I don't have any music playing for you girls today. I am loving these lashes. Now, if you wanted to give you a little more dramatic effect, if you wanted, you could put um, mascara on top of these. Just whatever you prefer, you know, but for your everyday look, I'm not trying to be too dramatic today, so I'm just going to rock it this way. But I do need some more glue, it looks like, on the end. So I'm going to put a little bit more glue onto the end of this lash. It looks like it needs just a little bit more. And I'm going to use a very small brush instead of taking them 
all the way off. I'm going to use a very thin bristle brush. Just put a little more glue on that. And adhere it again. That's it. I didn't put enough on the end, apparently. And there you go. I have one lashes, girls. So I think with my eyes being, they're not bold, actually. They're still pretty, you know, natural. Soft, rather. I'm not going to say natural. I'm going to just say soft. Uh, I think with that, I'm going to still do a colored lip. I don't necessarily have to do a neutral lip. So let's let's get this uh, lip going here. One of my all-time favorite lip liners is brand is MAC. Of course, you don't have to use MAC. You can go to your local beauty supply, your local Walmart, or your local Walgreens and get you a lip liner. Whatever you prefer. It's no right or wrong, you know. Drugstore makeup can be just as good um, sometimes, sometimes as your professional makeup products. But one of my all-time favorites that I fall, have fallen in love with is MAC. And this color that I've fallen in love with is called Night Moth. Okay? It's very rich. You, you, you can tell I love color. I told you. Now, sometimes I like to do a brown lip liner. Um, and you can rock a brown lip liner however you want. So... We're going to go ahead and proceed with this. Remember, I put that um, Anastasia highlighter on my Cupid's bow as well. Now, believe it or not, if I really want to be bold, I have... I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to just show you. Mm -hmm. This is Keisha Kaor. <laughs> Look at this green color. I think I might put this on today. <laughs> ah. If I put this on, then I may not necessarily need this particular lip liner color. But I'm going to proceed. I probably should use a brown lip liner. If I'm going to rock such a bold color like that. Mm. I hope my video don't stop. This is probably part four. <laughs> Of this of this look today you know I think I will I think this video is probably gonna stop but if it does you know I'm gonna restart it <laughs> 